I'm in uh, Skaftafell National Park. It's actually about in the Yokel National Park. This is a massive national park. The south section of it used to be Skaftafell, but I think people still just say Skaftafell National Park. So, ooh, look at all this cool stuff. <laughs> all sorts of stuff here. We're gonna see some waterfalls. I think it's gonna be too cloudy. You can also climb similar peak as one of those is over here. Um, but the glacier, you can see it comes down super close. Um, I guess it's back there. It's hard to see in the frame. So this is where you have all these, here you go, all these glacier tours and here's all the different tongues of the glacier that are sort of spilling out here. Yeah, they all have names. Sort of cool. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly where we are. Um, I wish they had that on the map, but yeah, there's a lot of different glaciers. Uh, 16 of them in all, so that's cool. It's getting a little dark. On this loop, there's sort of the glacial lagoon, and the tip of the glacier is right there. It's a pretty vast valley. Just winding our way up on this hill, a ridge or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty tame. This 4.4 mile loop only gains like 750 feet. We've probably, I adventure, we've already gained about 500, 400, probably over halfway on the gain. So you can see this trail's pretty flat and you don't have views for a lot of it because you're in all this scrub foliage. So anyway, that's where we're at. We're up, sort of. Better views of the glacier. Very tip, the tongue. And there's up. I don't know if you call that the top or what you call that. But uh, yeah, some of these peaks, one of these peaks is accessible via hike. I think it's probably that one up there not yeah because we can't cross the glacier here's sort of the view of the, the glacier tongue and glacial lagoon i guess i'll do what this guy's doing go down to one of those points seems reasonable just rushing out from coming whatever underneath or on the side pretty substantial you can hear it from all the way here and there's just looking up the glacier it's very heavily crevassed everywhere for sure yeah. and then the peak that I don't think I'm gonna do is somewhere one of those ones I'm not sure which one Slightly higher point, not, I don't know, 200 feet higher than we were. Basically looks like the same view to me. Um, just a little higher up um, on the glacier lengthwise. So, like I said, my peak, my peak is up there in the clouds. <coughs> so I don't think I'm gonna do it. Plus, we won't fit everything in if I decide to bang out another seven miles here. Yeah, a couple hours, so yeah. 
Well, we've uh, gone higher than the trail. Tom didn't realize it at first. And then uh, once he was committed, I convinced him to come up a little bit higher to here. So we still have a long way to go if we were to gain the summit. But there are quite a bit of people uh, going up there, surprisingly. I would not have thought that. I don't know, I still don't know where it is. But uh, just higher up on the glacier. Still looks the same to me. But uh, at least we got a little more vert in. Probably put in an extra 500 feet of vert, maybe. Maybe a little less. But just working our way up this broad green thing. And it keeps, basically you just keep doing that until uh, eventually you summit something. Uh, just don't know what it is. So that's it for now. We're going up, going up to the summit. Another uh, glacier overlook point here. Summits, I don't really know, to be honest. It might be up there. <sighs> so we made one climb, now we're contouring over, and then you can see working our way up here. That must be the summit, not the one I thought before. But anyway, this shouldn't be too bad. There's a group of two, and then a group of three or four up there. I'm thinking I can get all of them before the summit. We'll see though, definitely these two, because I've been gaining on them. I've been jogging sort of this flatter part, so this part is gonna be steep. That's okay, that's how we like it. So, I will uh, check in higher on up the mountain. Well, we've gained the saddle here. The summit shows to the right, so maybe it's right there. Not sure. In which case, there was no view of it at all until right now. That require us to drop a lot. Huh. Interesting. Ah, that was hard work. Just pushing it. I thought maybe it was right here, but it's not. Yeah, we might have to work this saddle ridge around. Just fine. Okay to do that. Ah. Yeah, I think it's that peak right there. Whew. All right, check in later. We've climbed up, wrapped around. Now we're going up to gain this ridge and I believe that's the summit but it's still probably 300 feet above me so it shouldn't be too bad I don't think <clears throat> but we'll see it's been some loose rock but not nothing unmanageable just steep steep walking up this thing yeah you know you slip slide back sort of par for the course these types of rocks and mountains so I think we're doing pretty well so I'll check in uh, higher up there this is awesome weather station so glad I did this there was it wasn't tough at all there was a path and post basically all the way to the top so people who make comments like the last section was steep and sketchy and rocky and there was no path obviously didn't know because they didn't do it there was a path all the way whoa that's a very steep drop off like 3,000 feet down 
maybe 2,000. I wish it was clear on this side. And we're right on the ridge line, right on it. So awesome. And there's uh, looking back to the glacier. Mighty impressive. There's a oh, there's camp right in the middle of it on that dirt. That dirt actually goes pretty far down. So anyway, this is awesome. I'm glad I did this, um, but I have to make it back because Tom's is waiting at the van. And I feel bad because it's going to be like an hour and a half. So that's a wrap. Christine R. Tindar. Checked off. Just as I was starting to leave the summit, things started to clear. You can see down now. Look at that big glacial plain. You can see that whole ridge. And then, uh... oh, let me go back. Let me go back to the true summit and look down now since it's open. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that glacial. There's the tip of the glacier. There's like a lagoon with icebergs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Take a picture and start headed down. Made it back down to the saddle. There were, I don't know, eight, nine, now nine people from this saddle to the summit that I passed that were all coming up. Um, some of which I didn't recognize, so they must have come up this trail. Um, but that was awesome. I would highly recommend anyone do that. Um, it's easily doable. It's not hard at all. Um, not sketchy, no exposure. Um, you know, no technical climbing. I would call that all class two. Um, you know, it's steep, very steep class two in some sections, but yeah, no need to use your hands really. Um, you know, it helps a little bit, I guess, on some rocks, but not really needed. So, yeah, as you can see, this trail just bends down. Um, eventually, it's gonna loop me back to see the other waterfalls that we were gonna hit on our early loop. Um, and back to the car but i got uh five well i guess less than five and a half now from the summit it was like five and a half so i might have five and a quarter um back to the car um after the steep i would imagine it's pretty tame downhill i think but uh i don't know that for a fact at all so we're gonna push it not make tones wait and uh, see you later. Just for reference, I believe that that you see just to the left of that point and beyond and much higher um, is your summit. So I've uh, come down pretty steeply, probably dropped, I don't know, five, eight, five, seven, eight hundred feet from the summit, got a bunch of rocks in my shoes. A bunch of people coming up this way, family. So now I'm just uh, on the cruise down. This is getting not as steep, a little easier to get a jog going. If it were a little less steep, I could really jog and a little less rocky, but uh, hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Got the fellow, got the fellow so far, visitor center. That's where we're going. 8.2k. All right, it's a wrap. Now I'm getting to run across this big green flatter plane plateau. It's pretty awesome. Hey. What is this? These white things. Some type of flower. I need to make sure I go down in the right place. Because this appears to be going up to this point, which I don't think I want to do. 
Maybe I missed a turn. Look at these. They're like these cotton. Oh wow, so soft. Cool. All right, I'm gonna check my map. Reach this little platform, sort of splits the two valleys. There's our summit where we were up there. I believe that's it. Um, <clears throat> big glacial tongue over here, and then uh, more trails. I'll check the check the map. But uh, yeah, the other trail came up the ridge over there and then cut across. So should just be heading down now. Should be pretty pretty smooth sailing, but different different glacial rivers coming out. Pretty cool. Pretty flat down here too. Well, uh, we hit, I was gonna go down a shorter way, but then I realized I think I needed to make it longer to hit this waterfall. I believe this is Spartafoss. Yeah, oh, you can go out there too. I'll get a little closer. That's uh, cool though, cool little waterfall. There it is. I like the basalt, basalt columns. Yeah, pretty cool. This one's called Honda Foss. Pretty cool. <laughs> 